Hi, good evening. It's Friday evening and time for Hold No Bars with yours truly, Manzo Nadir. We want to give a very special, special Valentine greetings to all of our loyal and new fans to Hold No Bars. Well, tonight I'm coming off of a very, very, very energized and large crowd at Hearst telling the People's Progressive Party Civic had a, a meeting, a grand meeting in Hearst telling this evening. It just ended about uh, an hour and a half ago and it was huge. To the people of Hearst telling Little Diamond Coven Garden Prospect, uh, those from Farm, see even former President Samuel Hines came out uh, who came out to support that meeting. Thank you very, very much for making this a very special Valentine for all of your loyal fans and your our supporters and more particularly our volunteers who have made that meeting a huge success. Kevin is queuing up some of the pictures from that meeting and already um, the meeting over an hour and a half ago, people are sending in their support, their congratulations, and more particularly, their commitment to vote on the 2nd of March for the People's Progressive Party Civic. We also want to thank uh, presidential candidate Dr. Irfan Ali, champion of the earth, Dr. Baron Chagdio, President Sam Hines for turning up. And we had two very special presenters this evening in the young counselor from Herstelling and also a young business person from Diamond. So it was a great evening for the people of Herstelling, Little Diamond Prospect, Coven Garden Farm, and all those who attended tonight. So great. Okay, what are we going to talk about tonight? We're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about manifestos, and we're going to speak also about local content. Now, local content, let's start with local content. Local content uh, is a phrase now very popular because of the oil and gas industry. And the oil and gas industry is huge already, it's the largest industry in Guyana, and it's going to be the largest single economic sector in the country. <coughs> Every day, we accumulate uh, one million US dollars, 360 million US dollars in a year on a bad deal. So it's big oil and gas, but in terms of the employment from the oil and gas sector, it is, um, there is a lot that could be desired. And so countries with huge natural resource wealth, what they do have is something called local content policy. Local content policy allows, um, or ensures I should say that locals get an opportunity to be clients of this big industry in terms of suppliers, services, employment is um, given as a preference to the nationals and so forth. So, I could eat. okay, I, I just checked the um, phone, it was just ringing. Yes, so local content policy is important. Uh, because it gives your country the an opportunity to get more out of this contract. So we paid some company twenty million dollars. Hi, good evening. Yeah, You're on this happy Valentine to you. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, sir, just a concern to the phone. Yeah, change for figure out something again. I don't know the um, very PPG went in, they said, oh, how is the garbage city? And they really cop and turn it upside down. But I know the rubber cup, or how the cup and break in, because we had the clean green guy, and I know the whole city clean, I have pocket clean, and you get no money. He talks too much. Mm -hmm. 
and all them things. So, when we see these people, they say, poor people punishing. Now, the AP and U is another punishing neglected union up here because people still punishing and nobody going away better. Uh -huh. And I can never then go come to this whole thing because when they watch it, they go on a time, go on a land to plant and, and my cow and get milk and all them things and the people destroy them things and everybody excited with everybody got careful and doing the car. Then these people and they, they enjoy it. I used to walk on Sweden for years, mm -hmm. getting the fish and shrimps and all that thing and even things should go wrong over there. And that's the thing my great and that's the important so we got careful what we're doing and made the right decisions, right choices to save this country. Thank you very much. All the best, right? Good. Yes, another um, and a big Valentine to every single one tonight. As I was saying, that was a great Valentine gift that her Sterling and the East Bank gave us tonight. And thank you very much, her Sterling and the East Bank. Now, we have just about two other programs remaining before March the second. So I'll keep you updated as to what is happening on February the. 20th, February the 20th, there is going to be a public meeting in, Glo in Diamond Grove at the Diamond Market Tarmac. Now, it's actually in the New Grove Housing Scheme, right? But they call it Diamond Market Tarmac. So on the 20th of February, those who haven't had an opportunity to come to one of the rallies, to come to her selling tonight, who didn't get an opportunity to come to Eccles last week, you have another opportunity. It's going to be Diamond, Market Tarmac, and um, it's going to be jam-packed. I know the um, organizers in Diamond Grove are very enthusiastic and working hard. Uh, tomorrow, Brigadier Mark Phillips is going to be joining in a walkabout and um, they'll be going from what is known as the junior staff compound all the way up to Cinema Street. And that's going to happen from 9 in the morning. To, so presidential candidate Mark Phillips, a homeboy of Diamond, is going to be doing a walkabout and meeting with residents of his community. Uh, so tomorrow, Mark Phillips, and on February the 20th, it is going to be our grand public meeting at the Diamond Market Tarmac. Kevin, how do you stand there with the pictures? For those who didn't get an opportunity to see and visit with us at Verstelling, here are some of the pictures. And this is just about um, around six o'clock. Here, the crowd was now beginning to build. And this is the enthusiastic crowd at um, here you have President Sam Hines, presidential candidate um, Irfan Ali, and President Barrett Chagdi on stage. There's some familiar faces there, very strong activists here. Yes, there's a very familiar face. She's a granddaughter of one of our supporters. This is young Sean, a very active, vibrant supporter from Covent Garden. Thank you, Sean. Naresh, a counselor for the horse telling Little Diamond NDC. Here is a young bar Jagdio. Could you imagine? Look at that picture there. That picture is a picture of um, a young bar Jagdio, but more particularly, it's so well preserved. You can tell how much care the owner of that picture has uh, provided. Someone borrowed that picture from her and I think that was the champion of the earth picture, yes. Uh, I love this one here. Someone went to the um, great effort of making her own little poster, uh, PPP. Here you have a section of the crowd tonight, jam pack. Uh, view of the stage. The person in the forefront of the stage is Roman Rupnarain, the Chairman of the NDC, that's uh, Little Diamond Hurst Telling NDC. That is a young entrepreneur from Diamond who was also a speaker tonight. 
Another shot to the stage. Shot to the crowd. Another shot to the crowd. Crowd again. Different angles. The crowd again. Here is a very familiar face. Um, not a familiar face there. Beautiful Lenny. Yes. Uh, people were taking up every vantage point. There was another volunteer taking pictures. Basil. The section of the crowd I was building. Uh, coming in. This is after after Dr. Jagdio and Dr. Ali came in. This is a section of the crowd still pouring into um, Diamond. Yes. There it is, young people, women, on Valentine's Day, preferring to come and listen to the People's Progressive Party civic uh, candidates. So this is the end of the crowd that was escorting Dr. Ali and Dr. Jagdio to the stage, almost two blocks long, yes. Nice little video there, thanks to the persons who supplied the video. This is her telling a couple of hours ago. Her telling a couple of hours ago. Yes. Jam pack. Jam pack. And someone said, I hope they come out to vote. Uh, we are urging you to ensure that you are on the list and more particularly come March the second turn up early and turn up to vote. So the crowd just keeps pouring, pouring in. Thank you very much there Kevin. So this is a sneak, um, quick look at what happened this evening at her Sterling Great. Okay, not a significant event. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, Cameron. Good day. Good evening. How are you doing? All is good. Happy nice. Valentine. Same to you. I'm glad to see the um, clips of her selling. Uh huh. Yes. You have to lower your volume a bit. Yes, go ahead. Okay, so she's happy to see the clips on Valentine night. 2020. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. Very good night. Happy Valentine. Happy Valentine to you too. You know, this is a very interesting time in our country where it's with elections, right? Mm -hmm. And I've been looking at, at some of the advertisements and things, uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. One that I found was very comical that make me laugh. I just very nonsensical. No, I saw an ad that says in PC time, for breaking butter and, and dumpling or whatever. Uh -huh. And then in Ridgeway the time they all have palaces. But then you have the homeless in the street and they, they were they were they were they were eating, they were hungry. And now in, in the, this time now they're building palaces. So I want someone from the homeless what job they have now to build all these palaces. Or uh, where are these palaces? Mm -hmm. because, because and it makes me laugh because it doesn't make sense. And I'm wondering we have a lot of a set of shallow thinkers and all these thinkers. And I'm warning you, they're not recognizing that people are recognizing how stupid it is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Actually, I am now looking for a picture okay. which I'm going to send to Kevin, our operator, to put up. And um, I know what you're talking about because those of us who drive past Agricola every day, there used to be a little shop. It used to be the headquarters of the PNC in Agricola. And it used to be a little shop, well painted with green, and um, and looked a bit uh, in need of some work. Well, the PNC is now in office just over four years, and I'll put this picture up now, and you'll see exactly what you're speaking about: palaces for themselves. Yeah, but when he talks, no, no, the normal is talk for palaces. Mm -hmm. Not talking about the parts that a minute probably built, right? Right. Talking about normal citizens who are poor and yeah. are hungry. 
minister and no one in this time going to build palaces. So I'm talking about the normal people building palaces, not the ministers, right? I know. But no, from being homeless, what job you have to, you can build a palace. It's nonsensical, I agree. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I agree. But I also want to say, um, when you look at this building in less than uh, five years with the PNC in power, and this is what they have transferred, transformed their little office. You see that here? That's the PNC office now in Agricola. It used to be a little, I have a picture of what it used to look like four years ago, but could you imagine how prosperous it is for the PNC in these times? Thank you very much. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Um, welcome to Home of Art. But um, listen out here. When I get a, a public meeting in Kuru, I see our animal in Kuru last night. There was a beautiful turnout. Tonight was a beautiful turnout at Kuru Stellan. But when you can get one in um, Good Hope. Good Hope. I am not too sure. I have to check the um, East Coast schedule, right? But um, I, I am... I'm working on the East Bank, having been a resident of Eccles since 2014. So sorry, uh, 2004. Right, I'll, I'll let them know, right? But here, yeah. Good Hope. Don't stop and everything, you know. Good Hope, this beer, just two weeks ago, you could always come out to Luziknan. Luziknan is going to be the final one, the Saturday before. No, we normally go out in the four car, no, going into the scheme. Uh -huh. but we on this year. I can find out. I'll find out and let you know. Thanks. Thank you. Good. Okay, so Good Hope is calling for a meeting. The organizers at Freedom House, those in charge of the East Coast, Good Hope wants their meeting, their normal meeting at Four Corners. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, Mr. Nazir. Good evening. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. I'll let you tune in to you, they're listening to talking about the Congress place, PNC House at um, Agricola. Right. In the four years of the PNC achieved there. Right? Yes. Well, what about the front? Uh -huh. Four years, them big mansion, we, 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 we get it. Okay. We say mother. Yes, well, you talk about it, I talk about the PNC he office. Yeah, we pool and all kind of thing, where he get the money from. Okay. Huh? I'll tell you, mm -hmm. if you listen, Dr. Yes. Irfan Ali was mm -hmm. earning a lot of money at the Ministry of Finance as one of the international financial institutions representative monitoring their programs in Guyana. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, that family lives in Lenora for a long time. You know who is neighbors? Do you know who? Do you know who? I'm asking. I know the people there. I know where he lives. Right. I know where the mansion is. But that's not a mansion, right? It's not a mansion. That, compared to what Ferguson has, is a shack, uh, right? And then the other thing is, it doesn't take a lot of money to build a swimming pool, right? Man, you got to see a mansion, and that one you Man, I just come from that, I just come from the place you call a mansion last weekend. You just come from a place, don't stay for your conscience, man. You got to be real, you know. I know. You got to be real. So this Dr. Ali is, has been a high income earner, for most of his life, then became a minister. All right. That's why you got to stay in a position till you are dead. Thank you a very much, sir. We'll know on March the 3rd, and I wish you no, well. No, no, Thank you. Man, you, you might drink poison. Not at all, sir. Yeah, or you might hang yourself. You have a great Valentine. We share love. You know, Dr. Martin Luther King said, you know, I choose love because hate is too much of a burden to carry. Thank you. Good. Let's go. Excellent call. All right. And so it's been great. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hey, good night, Mr. Manson. You just come from the radio or telling, man. You just came from our telling? Man, that meeting finished a long time ago. I'll complain to your wife because you should have been home two hours ago. No, man. I was going for the guys that were around the car. No, man. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, so you're helping them take down and pack up yeah, the insulin? Yeah, man, everybody's a uh, Romel and everybody's a uh, Savi Gaffi. We go like that, man. Nice, nice, great. Yes, man. So nothing can hold you back. Nobody's the last candidate. There's no, no, I'm not that much. He has a right to speak and I have oh, an obligation. Yeah, man. But you know some people like custom to live in property? Yeah. That's their guys, man. In property or poverty? Or property or whatever, or uh, same thing. So what do you think about the meeting tonight? The meeting was very good. We didn't have a lot of people, you know. People's Project also. Make a walking bus, load people, you know. Uh-huh. 
and go all about the rally. You see how one selling a little lack? Right. You come, you come in New Scheme to the second, you see big crowd there, man. They new see people. New Scheme to the second, and why you come to Diamond on the 20th first? Well, I tell you, when I Diamond, New Scheme is Scarlet, man. Where is Tarmac? It's not the 22nd, it's the 20th. The 20th, okay. The 20th, right. Not that right. kind of holy back, you know. We, 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 we go take where you, we use you send both. You say both. Yeah. Not okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for turning out tonight. Okay, so a very complimentary caller there. Um, having been to the meeting tonight at her telling. You are on the air hold no bars and happy yeah, Valentine. Good night, sir. Good evening. Yeah, but uh, how you do? Can't complain uh, at all. What do you think about Mars Jack Joe? is not your friend? Yes, it's all to be friend. All right, this is Juice Man, originate from Freedom Loop. Hey, Juice, what's up? Uh, cool, my brother. Long Which time. Good? Long time. All right, this is Juice Man from Freedom Loop, telling man. Juice, this go ahead. Man. All right, we pick up the play by taxi service. Okay, so thanks a lot, Juice Man. Great man. Okay, so Juice Man there is um, well energized, and thanks for your call, Juice Man. Hi, you're on the air, hold no bars on this Valentine night. Hi, good morning, Chris. Good evening. Uh, as I was speaking earlier, the, um, the PNU or PNC, I don't know who is who, but I was working with the coalition government over three years. Uh huh. And they listened to me carefully, and they were robbing me all the time. Okay. He was walking me from 7 in the morning to 11 in the night, 12 in the night, 1 in the morning, 2 mm -hmm. in the morning for one salary. Let me tell you what is the salary about? Tell me. $20,000 a week. $20,000? Yeah. Uh-huh. $20,000 a month? A week. A week? Okay. We drive from, from 7, mm -hmm. 11, 12, something, 2, something, 3 in the morning, all over here. Mm-hmm. As a money. So I, I work like two hours or something. I was account to the law, say 40 hours a week. Right. For one money. Hmm. The other thing is. Um, so that advertisement the first caller spoke about, you couldn't build a palace, eh? Yeah. And uh, you know what he told me? Uh -huh. He put a roof on my house. Wow. With that money. Mm -hmm. And I'm a family person. Okay. <laughs> Great man. Well, let's hope that come March the second, you'll remember that and know what to do. I know what to do, and I change my vote because I was a PVP person all the time. Thank you I very much. It. I even paid. I make a fence and paint it over yellow for the coalition people. Uh -huh. I couldn't believe they would have done me like this. And well, they said a thief, right? I'm telling you this. Here. Uh huh. I pass through it, and I know it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Well, join us. Join us at East Bank and give of your service and your time. Yes, I know you long. Take care. You. Thanks a long, Ed. Okay. So that was a, co a caller who has had a not too pleasant experience with the coalition government. I know another story like that, you know. Dominic Gaskin, Minister Gaskin, had a driver. The driver had been an ardent... Uh, follower of the coalition, the AFC part of the coalition, and worked with Dominic. And then the guy told me, um, in fact, the guy grew up with me. I, I called his first name, Ruben, and he said, um, you know, Uncle Manzur, I worked with these guys, I believed in them. And they promised me $100,000 tax-free. $100,000 tax-free a month, that was the promise. And when I got my first paycheck, it wasn't 100,000 tax-free, it was lower. So I went to the minister and I said, sir, I was an AFC, this is the manifesto promise, we are in power, and I am not making $100,000 tax-free. And the minister said, well, that's all that they could do. That's just after the ministers got the 50% increase. And Ruben just said, you know, you could keep your <laughs> and he left. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good evening. Good evening. Would you like to tell you that I'm not paying no political assistance until after the election? Mm -hmm. Why so? Within 
he depended on that money, January, February. Notice that when the election finished, then they pay in the money. Mm -hmm. Well, because uh, what would happen is that public assistance comes from a subvention. And if you don't have a budget, you can't access that subvention. So it's a bureaucratic thing. Unlike the one twelfth of the budget for the running costs, the subventions for public assistance is something else. Okay. Bear up, bear up, right? Okay. Thanks. So that's a, the normal accounting process that we have to go through. Hi, you're on the air, go ahead. You're on the air, you're off the air, I just cut you off. Um, so let me just get back on social media, all right? Okay, come on, come on, come on. Give me two seconds, I need to get this connected again. Okay, social media is back on, and you're back on. Yes, good afternoon, sir. Hey, Patsur. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you doing? All is well. All right, good. You're so good. How you so good, so? Like you're by us. I'm uh, listening. How you so good by us? I'm listening. I say it. How you so good by us, man? You got to speak. If you do, you don't like your father, it's your problem, buddy. Okay. Um, because you're a uh, Hindu or a Christian, why? Okay, so I'm going to have to cut you off because if you call me, I have a sign. Uh oh, sorry, the sign fell. So please turn down the volume of your TV because it annoys the ears of other people. So we have to respect other people, right? Hi, you're on the air. Hold no bars. Good evening. How are you doing, buddy? Can't complain. Okay. I'm happy to see the, 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 the public meeting that you had at our cell in there, man. Uh -huh. We have plenty more like that. Okay. And by the way, one of the callers call and say, boy, you're fun. You're fun swimming pool and yeah. house and all that thing. Mm -hmm. You don't tolerate them by competition, man. No, man, he has a right to speak. No, but them guys, they, you know, we must be neutral. All right, your fan got a, as the claim say, your fan got a mansion. Mm hmm the present government minister them got getting mansion now. Mm -hmm. So your fan don't got well they must get it now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um let me forget about that. Now. Good. Okay. Um we we guy these people need to understand. Mm -hmm. Everybody got the right to support the part. Exactly. Right? Okay. If I support the PPP and you support the PNC of New AFC it's like a game. They w who wins? Who? Who loses payback? Uh -huh. So we, we, we support uh, for any party. Should not vex with one support. Okay, I, I'm supporting PVP. Uh, Apple supporter must not vex with me. Mm -hmm. You know, because we don't vex with the Apple support them if they support who they want to support. No. No. Whether the election hold on the second of March, whether if the Vigridia re-elected back, mm -hmm. we have to live with that. Exactly. If your finale win, we have to live with that. Mm -hmm. We got to work with which president ever elected. But you know, some people are just stifle conscious. Mm -hmm. Living in poverty. Mm -hmm. But you know, some people when they're living in poverty, they so accustomed to it that they don't want to come out of poverty. Mm -hmm. And the only president or the only government to take people out from poverty is mm -hmm. the government. And I wish Irfan all the best. I wish the PPP party all the best because we need a change. And we will get a change. Thanks a lot. Let me Thanks take the next so call. Much. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. We're listening to you. Okay. So
So that I'm was that sorry. caller. Hi, go ahead. You're on the air. Hold no bars. I'm calling you for the third time to my class. How you got through third time? Because I didn't see the number there. You can't get through for the third time. I can't give you a third shot. Thanks for confessing, though, that you called through. I didn't notice the same number popping up. But we don't like to take um, t two, three calls from the same person, right? Uh, okay, some of the calls are coming through with block numbers, right? Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hello. Hi, you're on the air. Hello. Go, go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah, I was listening to this program, and it's a very good program. Mm -hmm. you know, Thank you. You know what people that talking stupidness? We know what is right, and we going to do what is good. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. People, you got some people like that got a rag in their eyes. Uh -huh. You know? You know, and they know that they cost a living one way, they don't want to go forward. Mm -hmm. They're going backward. Mm -hmm. You know, man? And this government is, um, Mr. Barjal, I was listening last night, Thursday night. Mm -hmm. I want to know people don't see what he's doing or what he's saying. He never promised and never fulfilled. He's like, promise people, but you always fulfill his bar. Mm -hmm. And so he goes, I'm watching a program and I say, and I say, I don't know, they don't stupid. The car, the car, just no, real stupid. He wish you, he don't know if you will die or who will die before one another. You know, he wishing that you could die and, and this and this. It's real stupid people, man. Thank you very much. Okay, so thanks for the compliments and um, your level headedness. Good. So I was going to speak a little bit about manifestos. Hi, good evening. Hi, you're on the good, my good evening. Um, Skip, how are you? Man? All is well, man. How are yourself? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I was listening to those callers, you know, that, 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 you know, as the banner said, people in that capital racket, he got capital lagging here, you bought it. <laughs> you could tell me, hmm? yeah, as a guy in me, mm -hmm. you don't know right from wrong, you bought it. Mm -hmm. Eh? As these people play part, no? Mm -hmm. eh? Granger don't have a proper um, manifesto. And these people, them that go into his meeting, these people, they, 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 they are play part. No? They may say the same thing about the people coming to the PPP eh? meetings. You must, you must have a very little, this thing here, I don't like racialism, you know. Yeah, but nobody didn't bring race in for the night, so no, don't bring it. The no, 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 no. don't bring. Okay, so uh, we've had a, a, a clean program. We've talked about parties, people for one party in the next, and let's keep it that way. Hi, you're on the air. Good, I good night, how are you doing? Good evening. All is well. I honestly respect both these parties. The last time I voted for Abno, mm -hmm. right? I'm always a PP supporter. Mm -hmm. But I tell you honestly, the day shall come that the Bible will reveal that God is a respect of no man. Mm -hmm. And it don't matter which government in. Once there's bad management, God will remove you. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, so I was going to speak a little bit about manifestos. The People's Progressive Party Civic in uh, its plans to ensure that their manifesto for these upcoming elections had the widest contributions from stakeholders, had invited early last year, as soon as the you know, confidence motion was passed, submissions from all sectors of society. So all these suggestions came and then they convened, I think it was February or March, a meeting on the East Bank here and they had over a thousand stakeholders, religious organizations, NGOs, sports organizations, private sector interest groups, ordinary rank and file people, youth, um, culture. So, and, and all of those persons came together, they looked at the ideas of each other, and they came up with a plan, which the PPP adopted as its manifesto for prosperity. What the PPP did was now published that, and in December of last year, distributed 100,000 of these house to house. They also made it available in e-copy, soft copy, and it was widely circulated. It's on the website. <coughs> the APNU 
coalition with AFC did not put out the manifesto. In 2015, they launched their manifesto on the, I think it was at a, in, uh, yes, it was at Pegasus, and then they had a public launching on May the 1st at Square of the Le Revolution. So it's, those are the correct dates. This year, they didn't have a manifesto. Mr. Granger declared that they was going to be a decade of development. And I mentioned last week about my visit to the Carmichael Street Post Office and meeting Pandit Krishna, who said he was going to vote for us. Because the other side didn't have a manifesto. They didn't speak about plans, and we did. And so today, the APNU, I understood, launched a booklet, which is its manifesto. And Minister Don Hastings, who in launching it, said that she had a glance at the manifesto, a fleeting glance at the manifesto, and it is a great document, right? Now, this is the chairperson of the manifesto launching press conference at, or meeting that they had. And she said she had a glance at it, and it was a great document. And it's this same Minister Don Hastings who said uh, the president, uh, President Granger, has given us a decade of development. And when we get elected on March the 2nd, then we're going to start putting the plans in place for this decade of development. Uh, so this was a little bit uh, comical, but it's serious because if you don't, you spend, uh, Granger spent five years in opposition from 2011 to 2015, cutting everything, and then had the opportunity to start crafting a manifesto for when elections would be held. Those elections were held in 2015. And in 2015, um, they launched a manifesto full of promises. By 2018, one of their members defected because they weren't fulfilling their manifesto promises. You're on the air. Hold no bars and happy Valentine. Go ahead. You're on the air. Okay. Wait. They were waiting too long. Yes. So, um, and so after a lot of pressure, something was launched today by the coalition that's called the Manifesto. And um, I'm going to get hold of it, and next week I'll try and compare the two. If you have had an opportunity to look at the APNU AFC Manifesto, please call in and share some of the ideas with us. You're on the air. Hold the bars. Happy Valentine. Many have a return, sir. Good night. Good evening. Um, what I would like to see is mm -hmm. that our party, mm -hmm. the PPPC, mm -hmm. when we see people with their APNU uniform on, mm -hmm. we don't say anything about them. Mm -hmm. But just as they see us with our, even just a red jersey, yeah. our yeah, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. I don't like these people, they like the bullies. Mm -hmm. You know, and I feel that what we got to guard against us now is post-election, because I know they are destructive. Mm -hmm. So when we got to go into power, mm -hmm. after then we got to guard again, because I know these people, how they speak. Mm -hmm. And I know the entire day, and I know how they speak. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Nadir, we got to tell our people, when we finish voting on the second, just mm -hmm. to finish, you go inside and stay inside and just listen to the radio, mm -hmm. television, or any, um, let me say, uh, media hub. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, someone else is online. Hi, you're on the air. Going once, going twice, you're on the air, gone. Okay, so when you call, please uh, be ready to make your contributions, right? And um, I want to uh, agree with the caller. As soon as you finish voting, you go home and you wait. You're on the air, hold no bars on this happy Valentine evening. Happy Valentine, good night. Good evening. Evening. I see a video on my Facebook. Mm-hmm. That's how a lady gave them people money. Uh-huh. And somebody take it out, that means gone off already. Mm-hmm. 
$5,000. Okay. Well, if a person is going to sell that important right which they have of $5,000, I don't blame the person trying to buy the vote. So, but I'll tell you this. If you're getting uh, something from the government, if they're going to bring a hamper for you, if they're going to bring a boat, and if they're going to bring a bicycle or a breakfast, please, you know what to do. Take what you could get now because you ain't got anything else to give you, so I would suggest that you make good use of it and do the right thing afterwards. You're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, you need to have 12 subjects and more to sell dog food and the chips on the roadside mm -hmm. in Guyana. Back in 2014, you used to go by, what you call it, the Chinese restaurant or maybe if Bong Tees had any sort of ways of dog food selling. Mm -hmm. so, dog food on the roadside. Mm -hmm. Is that possible? And you are telling me you are going to create jobs mm -hmm. for 1,000 youths per year mm -hmm. and multiply that by 10, one decade, so that 10,000 jobs for youths. What are you doing in this country when the PPP used to give to the little children $10,000 per uh, annum and they're going to give to you $50,000 per year and then you're going to say Barrett Jack Dale used to run the country 80% of the economy of drugs running it. Now, what Barrett Jack Dale did? Barrett Jack Dale did the right thing. Barrett Jack Dale did a bartering with him, keeping the economy of the sugar estate going. Barbies depends upon sugar. They have nothing else beside that. The Essequibans, they depend upon the rice also their provisions. So get to the point is that where your economy going? It's going nowhere. Nobody gonna pay no twenty thousand US dollars to send a ship from Europe to Guyana. We in twenty years back they got a going to be 20 years forward. How much people thinking about the economy? The government have any one acre of land that ever selling out 200,000 cubic feet of one that they ever earn? Well, I got to cut you off now and give some and other I people a chance. Think they never will. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, let me just... Um, the. He made a good point at the beginning in terms of jobs. Mr. Granger did say that he was going to produce 10,000 jobs in 10 years, and which is laughable because you have to produce a minimum of 10,000 jobs a year. Every year, 12,000 plus children write CXC. So it means that 12,000 children um, potentially are employees every year. Some of them will go off to a higher education, they'll go overseas to study, some will go to the GTI. So about three, 4,000 will be taken off into foreign education. But 10,000 every year is seeking jobs. So if you're producing 1,000 jobs a year, Mr. Granger, every year 9,000 persons become unemployed. In 10 years, it's 90,000. If you don't have the vision to try and get this economy humming at a rate of 10 to 14,000 jobs a year, then you're wasting time. We might as well then all pack up and leave and let this be, be Exxon Guyana. Thank you. Hi, good evening, you're on the air. Hi, good evening, Mr. Nadir. Go ahead. I want to put you on the spot here. Sure. It seems like the whole country is waiting for the election. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't, we know who, who, what's the government of the day. Mm -hmm. But there's a perception out there that should the PUP win the election, the country is going to take off like a rocket. Mm -hmm. Now, should the PUP not win the election and the government is reinstated, mm -hmm. 
how do you see the way of life for people here? Because I know a lot of people here mm -hmm. waiting for a change of government because they don't want to go go through with this government to the next. I, I yeah, I'm not optimistic. Uh, in spite of the fact that we have oil revenue, you will see even more corruption. You will see uh, discrimination. You will see. I'm trying to cut you, but I just want to pinpoint something to you. Like, for example, go ahead. Real estate. How do you see that going? Real estate. Right now, real estate, in my view, is kind of declining or you know on the slow side. It's it's. It's prices will go up. Whether locals are going to be able to afford a piece of Guyana is a difficult uh, question. It, that's going to be difficult because if the locals aren't generating economic activity, if they're not getting jobs, and if the value of their money is deteriorating, then the people who are coming in with US dollars and changing it will have first bite at the real estate opportunities. So it's going to be a little bit difficult should the government of the day continue on. Thank you. Okay, so um, on the spot there, let me take one call here. You're on the air. Good evening. Good evening. I want to know something. I get a understand the coronavirus is spreading being I haven't heard of examples of the coronaviruses um, okay. virus here. Okay, and next thing. Um, I want them to know that they good people, the black people of this country. Okay. The full time this country has. Okay, so we have been having a clean program tonight. Let's keep Hi. it that way. You're on the air. Good evening. Hi, Mr. Nan. Have a good night. Good evening. Okay. You need to realize these guys have a problem with mathematics. Okay. Because um, the president says 10,000 jobs in 10 years. Mm -hmm. That's just like you saw the two versus saw the three. Okay. So you, you need to understand that these guys have a problem with math and calculation and so yeah. on. Uh, because I think I see on one of the president rally, he said, J-O-B-L jobs. J-O-B-L jobs. I don't know if I hear right. So I try to listen on the next um, ads on the TV mm -hmm. and know if I hear right. So I, I didn't hear it. I haven't had an opportunity to look at the campaign of the opposition on TV. Um, we have uh, persons looking at that and uh, sharing what is happening. So but I, I, I didn't hear I see the president had a, a rally and he said, um, the same day when he talked about the job, mm -hmm. he said, um, J-O-B-L job. So I'm wondering to know, you know, the spelling of gun on the other side, and not the mathematics alone. Well, maybe he's correct, you know, and he for, he shortened jobless, J-O-B-L, <laughs> jobless, right? Yes, I, I guess. Yeah, I, guess I know, he's a smart man, he's a smart man. Thanks right. a lot. Okay, so job L, jobless, good. Yes, so let me, I think my social media got disconnected. So let me just reconnect this person on social media. And um, good. We're on the air. Hold no bars. Happy Valentine. Yes, Mr. Nandi. I like the young Kong flow talk to the hotel and the GM. They were selling rally last tonight, man. Uh huh, Narish. Yeah, the guy, the guy talk is a brilliant version, man. Excellent. Excellent. Well, you know, one of the things which. Um, is a hallmark of this campaign for the PPPC is the among the young candidates, bright candidates that are passionable but more particularly competently qualified to participate in running a government. You can't, you can't hear why Romel down by Romel is a boss. He's a boss, exactly. He's a boss. He's a boss. So he's, a lot of talent, man. He's, done, he's done a good job. Right, Thank care. you. Great. You're on the air. Good evening. Hi. Hey, what's up? All is well? You look uh, hype, man. You're hyped there like you really had a nice time. Man, it's Valentine, you? man. You spoke? Yeah, I had a couple of minutes, but Valentine, the wife made some lovely macaroni and chicken mince, so it tasted okay. real good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're having a nice time. I'm glad, man. You like exam movie right now. Exactly. <laughs> 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 
know, it just had these boxing matches in America. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh-huh. I don't really want, I don't want to steal your thunder as about G. Janet used to say. She didn't want to steal your thunder. <laughs> I didn't want to steal your thunder, but you know, in these boxing matches, uh-huh. you used to see clean. These Mexicans used to beat these Americans. And they could never win with the judges. Mm-hmm. I something like that. I, 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 I still got some doubts about this. This. I, I mean, you ever see the PNC so silent? They know they could never win at a free and a fair election, right? It's going too smooth, right, for the PPP? Yeah, yeah, going to some, something in right. Something, something like in right. They, they don't be so so silent or complacent in, in, in things. You know what I mean? So, and then I know they know that a free and a fair election, mm-hmm. they, they can't really succeed. Right. How is it that they accepting a free and a fair election? We don't know yet, yeah. Huh? We still and got two weeks to go. Yeah, it got me puzzled. It got me puzzled because these, is, these people don't be silent when they know mm-hmm. the odds against them. True. You understand, man? Uh huh. And then another thing I want to talk about. Uh, these oil people, I heard Mr. Jack just saying last night, these oil people are involved in the, in, in the, in the propaganda campaign with the, with the PNC. Mm-hmm. Remember I was telling you that these oil people are involved in the political system in Guyana? Uh-huh. I had something to read, but we ain't got the time. Go ahead, go ahead. You got three minutes. You got three minutes? Yeah, yeah. Uh, give me the time. Give me the time. I'll go read it. Taking into account, right? Uh huh. The enormous clout that oil companies have on the political and electrical, electoral infrastructure of the oil rich countries mm-hmm. in Africa and South America, it will be virtually impossible for a free and fair election to be something of a reality. Mm-hmm. My reasons are if these oil companies have succeeded uh-huh. and manipulate government after government to submit to their schemes mm-hmm. shows the level of sophistication mm-hmm. to which they are organized mm-hmm. and have penetrated the highest echelon of every influential organization mm-hmm. that is needed to pave the way for them to have access to the oil. Mm-hmm. They also do not care who knows what their intentions are and who are in opposition to it. Mm-hmm. They will use their wide range of inducements, that is financial, political, etc., mm-hmm. to install governments mm-hmm. of their liking. And if they can influence governments, mm-hmm. is it a complicated matter mm-hmm. to influence observers? Uh-huh. To conclude, you might be shocked to know that the that the shareholders of these oil companies mm-hmm. are some of the most prominent people who wield a lot of power that is legal power. Mm-hmm. So I got a lot of, I still got a lot of skepticism. I know it's going to be a landslide victory for the PPP. Yeah, but I want Exxon, Exxon and any oil company, especially American-based companies, No, there's a law about these American companies influencing the outcome of an election in another country, right? There's actually, there are laws about that. There so, are, yeah, there are laws. Can they be held accountable? They can be. Can the, can, can, can the election be nullified? Um, there, there's ample evidence? I don't think so because the law in America is that you could be um, prosecuted for interfering in other people, influencing it, right? But I'm back to my first point. I can't really understand how the PNC, knowing they cannot win a fair, fair election, mm-hmm. how are they so quiet? Yeah. All right, brother, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, great. And um, I want to say it's time for us to close the program, just about a minute remaining. I know quite a few persons have been trying to get through on this Valentine night. The hardworking people of the PPP on the East Bank have just closed off their uh, work program for the evening and um, they are now heading home. To all of you who have been part of 
hold no bars on this Valentine night. We really, really, really appreciate it that you took time to let us be your Valentine 2020. It's been a great evening for campaigning for the PVPC. I wanted to touch a bit about the manifesto of the coalition and next week maybe we can talk about their manifesto and do some comparisons. But today I used a, uh, a phrase or a sentence in the campaign that, you know, the PVP has done so much and um, in any period, if you took, take a five-year period compared to day five-year. So we've done so much, it's like if we're comparing Sapodilla with Sauri. So with that note, I want to say thank you very, very much for letting us be part of your Valentine and to wish you on behalf of Kevin, the directors of MTV, and on my own behalf, a very happy rest of Valentine 2020. Good night.